Hi, my name is Austin, and today I'm going to use the rules feature in Merchant Center to share some quick tips on how to update product title data in your product feed. So this is useful for ad managers who, for whatever reason, can't edit the raw product data feed. Uh, rules are a part of the Google Merchant Center platform that make it really not easy, I would say, but make it possible to edit the product feed data. And it is useful. It's not ideal to use the Merchant Center rules section, but you'll find it comes in handy if, like I said, you can't edit the raw feed itself. So I'll show how to make some changes with the rules feature, and then I'll show how to make the same change again in a proper product feed tool. So let's jump in. So what I want to do is take this title. This is a t-shirt from our sample store. I want to take this product title that's just women's Appalachian Trail map t-shirt and add some more to it because right now it's pretty dry. It doesn't include the product color. It doesn't include anything about the fabric weight or the type of fabric. So I'll start with adding the color and what I'm going to refer to first quickly is the, the way color should be added to your product data. So if and I'm, I'm in the Google Merchant Center help section. You can find this if you simply Google something along the lines of uh, Google Merchant Center color field or color data, and you'll, you'll find this article quickly. So what I have are colors that are um, unique names. So Heather Raspberry, that's a unique name. A more standard way to refer to that color would be red. And for navy, a standard way to refer to that would be blue. So looking at the uh, some examples that Google gives in their best practices section on the color field, I can see that if I were to use a unique colored name like I am, like Heather Raspberry, Google recommends adding a standard color name to the title. So in my case, instead of naming my product uh, a Heather Raspberry t-shirt in the title, I should just name it a red t-shirt. So Again, for the blue, I should call this uh, blue. Or say if I'm advertising the Heather Raspberry title, I shouldn't call it Heather Raspberry in the product title. I should call it red. So let's go do that in the, sorry, Merchant Center. So to do that, I'll... I'll navigate to the rules section, so ignore this. This is my sample store, so it's suspended. But you'll log into your Merchant Center account, go to products, go to feeds, and then click on the feed that you're interested in, and then click on feed rules over here. It's a little hidden. And then you'll hit the plus button to create a rule. So the rule that I want pertains to the color. So first what I'll do is I'll I'll reformat the color from Heather Raspberry to red and from navy to blue. And then I'll append that to the title next. So there's two steps here. So first I'll do condition if color. So see how I'm in primary feed, datafeedwatch.us, color. I'll select that and then I'll put equals navy. So if it equals navy, I'll set it to blue. I'll hit OK. And then I'll test the change that I made by just clicking through some products. So you'll see this randomly cycles through products. And I'll just keep clicking this little button until I see one that shows what I wanted to do, which is that. So if I mouse over that, I can see that the product is that same t-shirt that I was looking at before. And the color in the feed is navy, but I'm going to change it to blue. Let's see. And in fact, I don't want to change, I don't want to completely change the feed. Um, what I can actually do is leave the feed, sorry, I can leave this as navy, but I can add another color option called blue by creating a separate field. So I'll actually leave this. That was just to demonstrate how to find and replace something in the feed. So let me discard that. Then I'll make a new field and I'm going to call it 
color option, or let's let's call it color title. Or I'm going to call it title color actually. And that little asterisk next to it, you can see up here, that asterisk indicates that this is a custom field. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to not use this. Uh, I'm not going to change using the data sources section. I'm going to actually use the modification section. And what I'll do is, let's see. OK, I had to remind myself how to do this. So, so I've made a custom field called title color. And what I need to do is add a source. So the source of this new field that I'm making is going to be color, because I want to take the color navy and uh, change it to blue. So that's my source data, is the existing color field. So I'm actually going to set this to color, and then hit OK. And then I'll, um, I'll preview it. It's not working. That happens sometimes. I'm going to hit Save Draft. What I want to see here is, when I highlight over this, I want to see that the title color was filled with the existing color attribute in the field. So I'm going to hit Save as Draft. It's just not loading. I'm going to come back into title color, and now I see, now I can see that it's actually filling the color field. All right, so now I'll modify that, and I'm going to move my camera out of the way. So what I'll do is I'll modify this. So I'm just going to do find and replace, and I'll do if it's navy, replace with blue, and then I'm going to add another operation. So find and replace again. So if Heather, if is Heather Raspberry, and replace with red. Okay, this could take a long time if there's a lot of colors, and so there's a better way to do that if you have a lot of colors, but I'm just going to carry on with this example for a few number of, a small number of colors. Okay, so I can see that this, whoops, I can see that the Heather Raspberry didn't take so let me try this again. Heather Raspberry, I have probably misspelled it, and I did. Or did I? Let's see. Options, OK. OK, anyway, now it's working. So I've got red, and if I find a navy product, now it's blue. All right, so I've made my title color, and there's a few more in here that I want to add. So there was a, let's see, a gray color also. Let me find that. Dark Heather Gray, I should just call that Gray. Let's see if there's any others. No, just Dark Heather Gray. So I'll make one more rule. Find and replace. Dark Heather Gray, I just want it to be Gray. OK, so now I'll double check. And I see Gray, Blue, and Red coming in correctly. So now I'm going to hit Save as Draft. And now what I want to do because this is what I want to achieve. Remember, I'm taking a unique color name and I'm putting it in my product title as a normal color name. So what I've done is I've made a field, a custom field called title color that contains blue, red, and gray. And I'm going to append that to the title. So I have a title um, rule already made. So I'm going to click into the title rule. And then I'm going to append. You can see I've already appended a different custom field here, which is the f a fabric weight description, but I'm not going to go into that. So let me do append title color. There's my custom attribute. And I'll hit OK and then just check the output. All right, so the output, I can see that I appended blue to the end, which is great, but obviously I want a space between that. So let's just add a space in. I'll delete that. I'll just hit my spacebar once and then click that this add value. And now I will add the title color. And then I'll hit OK. Perfect. So now I see that the product title is Men's Yosemite Trail Map T-shirt. Um, and it ends with blue. I'd actually prefer it if blue came before fabric weight. So let's do that. And that looks better. I want to make blue stand out a little bit more from this last piece that I put in here, fabric weight. So I could add a dash or a um, 
pipe like that. So that's something I could do later. Right for now for this example, I'm just gonna keep this as is, but you can of course add a dash in here or add a pipe or something. So I'm gonna hit save as draft. And all right, so now my color, you can see in this rule that I've set up now, it's a draft rule because I haven't applied it. I'm appending the color to the title and then I'm appending the fabric weight to the title. Whoops. And so now that I've set that up, all I have to do is click apply or I can test changes. Test changes will allow me to see if my rule has caused any products to become uh, disapproved in the feed. So generally you should test the changes. In my case, I'll just hit apply because I've done this before for an example and I know that it's not going to get any products disapproved. Uh, all right, so that's how to add product data, one example of how to add product data to your feed using the rules feature in Merchant Center. And you can see that was a little bit painful, especially if I was doing more than three colors. So a better way to do that is to use a regular third-party product feed tool. I use Data Feed Watch, so I'm going to do that in Data Feed Watch now. Okay, so here I am in my demo shop in, which is Trail Map Apparel in Data Feed Watch. This is the tool that I use to manage feeds. And what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to do the same thing that we did in Merchant Center, but I'll use Data Feed Watch because this can get it done uh, faster and at a, at, a, at a more scalable manner. So I'll go to my internal fields and I'm going to create a new field called uh, title color. And then what I'll do is I will, let's see. All right, so here I've, I've made my color field and I had to take a break to remind myself how to do this. So I'm going to use a lookup table in Data Feed Watch. And what that is, it's basically this. So I have a existing uh, field in column A, and I want to switch it to whatever's in column B. So I'll do that using just a Google spreadsheet. And you, you can see how this would be much faster if you have um, tens of colors instead of just three. So that's why this is preferable to using the rule feature in Merchant Center. So anyway, to do this, I have to make this public. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to share with anyone with the link. So I'll set it to anyone with the link can view. I'll copy the link, I'll hit done here, and then I'll, I have that URL copying it in my clipboard. So I'll jump back in here, and then I will use the add from URL feature, and I'll paste that in. And then I will grab color option. So in my merch, in my in my data feed watch feed, I have a color option, which is any of these colors in the drop down menu. So let me just preview that and see if it worked. All right, perfect. It looks like it worked. So what it did, what data feed watch did, is it found the color option navy here, and then when it found the color option navy, it just switched it to blue. And so you could do whatever you'd like with that. So I could, uh, for example, if I have, I wouldn't want to do this, but just to, just to demonstrate, if I wanted to change that, it's very fast to just come into the spreadsheet and swap these colors out or add new ones. All right, so I'll switch that back to blue because that's what I want. And then I'll hit save changes. And now my color title field, my custom field is saved. And so I'll hit, uh, I could hit save and proceed or I could click two channels in data feed watch. Whoops. And it will take me to the next step uh, where I can append the color to the title. So let me actually hit save and proceed because that will push me over to the channel section. Okay, now see how I'm in the channel section in data feed watch. I'll click into my feed, which is the Google shopping feed. And then I'll just go to my title and I'll hit edit values. And then much like in the rules section of Merchant Center, I'll click add prefix, and then I'll use an internal field, which will be my title, excuse me, title color field. And then I'll just hit done, and that'll prepend the color 
to the title. And now, oh, and I don't want to prepend it. Actually, I should have appended it. So, and I can see again that I need to add a space. So I could do that with the edit values feature. I actually find it easier to not use that in this scenario, but to use the combine feature in data if you watch. So I'll just combine the title with the title color and then preview that. And we'll see that I've got the same thing um, as I had in the merchant center rules section. But again, I need to add that space. So as a separator, I'll just select space here, hit preview. And then I can see that it is correctly formatted. So it's the name of the product plus the word blue, which is our custom uh, color. All right, so that's two methods that I would use to edit the color in a product. Uh, in my Merchant Center feed. So the second method being preferable for bigger changes across lots and lots of products, you can get away with the rule, uh, the rules section in Merchant Center. But with a lot of products, I would I would use a, a title or sorry, a product feed tool like Data Feed Watch. All right, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Or if uh, I can't answer your question. You might be able to find an answer for yourself at the uh, Google Merchant Center support article, which is up here. I'll put it in the uh, description below. But here you can find answers and instructions on how to do quite a bit with the Merchant Center rules feature, although the instructions are a little bit cryptic. So again, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, if this isn't giving you what you need. So. All right, hope, hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.